What's up everybody? I wanted to do a different kind of video today, sharing with you guys a few of my favorites and then what I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis in my makeup bag because I don't think a lot of people really do that, especially us that are on YouTube, that are professional makeup artists or bloggers or influencers or whatever y'all want to call us. Um, I like to keep it real. So I want to show you guys everything in this freaking bag. And I had to take a few things out because like my foundation that I use daily, because I find that when I put my foundation in my bag, it goes sideways or whatever. And then it's hard to pump out because I use Estee Lauder double wear and I use a pump. <laughs> so if everything shifts sideways, it just doesn't work. Anyways, what do you think of my highlighter? It is way, more subtle, right? Way more subtle. And the blush, um, I wanna show you guys what I have been loving. I'm gonna start with my favorites right now. Um, this is the Morphe Warm Master 8W palette that I have been using so, 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 so much and loving. Those of you guys that follow me on IG have seen me use this quite a few times. I haven't used the whole palette, but I have used this one right here, Babe, which is the highlighter that I have on. And then for blush, I kind of mixed Unapologetic and Provocative to give like this color that, look at that. It's pretty, it's not overwhelming. I have been loving this. Thank you so much to Morphe for sending this to me because it has been amazing. Really, really love this. Then, oh, you guys, okay. One of these is really old. I'm so sorry they don't make it anymore. I actually bought this when it launched. It's a Tarte blush palette and I had never used it. I, I shopped my collection, I found it. Um, I don't know what the colors of the blushes are though because I lost the little insert. So I've been using, I believe this is Princess Avenue or Park Avenue Princess because I do know some of them. I love this. I've just been using this to bronze up and kind of contour. And then I've been using, I think this is exposed. I'm not sure, but I've been using this one and this one and mixing them. The pink, not too much. This one a little bit. I don't know. I think that might be too pink for me. But anyways, I pulled it out of my collection, shopped my stash, been loving this. Then, okay, <laughs> this is the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Francation palette. I have been getting a lot of use out of one color, two colors. This one, which is necessary. And I've been putting that like in the crease like I have right now. And then this one is called Just a Kiss because I like to take that and I'm actually gonna use a Real Techniques brush, which I'm gonna show you the Real Techniques brushes right now. So I like to take Just a Kiss and kind of just give myself a tiny bit of sparkle just to kind of umph up my eye look. Say if I have to go anywhere, do you guys see the sparkle? Maybe, maybe not. But anyways, those are like the two colors I have been using the most out of this palette. Yeah, let me show you. You can see, you see like it's kind of like, I've already made an indention and then, whoa, and then there's necessary. Just love those, have been loving this palette. I'm glad I bought it. Glad I bought it. I think it's really great. And I have used some of the other colors. I just don't use them all the time. If they sell necessary, I will buy it separately. I'm trying not to edit this, you guys, because it really hurts my back when I have to sit for long periods of time. But the next thing I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you brushes because I need to. So I wanna make sure I tell you guys what these are. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the, by the way, Real Techniques, hold up. Getting the little thing. Real Techniques last year sent me three of their brush sets. Um, they sent me their prep and prime set. It doesn't come with this little holder though. Um, actually, let me put the right sets in the right holders. So you guys can see, I think I got everything now. All right, so this is the prep and prime brush set. And this is to prep your skin before you do foundation, um, basically this brush right here is a facial cleansing brush and you, what you do is after you have clean, cleanse, cl you guys, I'm out of breath. After you cleanse your face, before you put on moisturizer or anything, you dry it off, make sure it's really good and dry and use this facial cleansing brush to dry brush your face. 
and exfoliate your face. And let me tell you, this thing works, like at least mine does. So now I've been doing that and it does like a light exfoliation. This is so good. And then this is the lip smoothing brush. I love this. Take one of like your favorite lip scrubs, put it on and then take this and like exfoliate your lips with it. Oh, it's really dense and it really, really, I need to clean my brushes. <laughs> it really, 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 really works. Then you have this, which is the prep brush. So this I use when I'm applying like moisturizer or primer. Okay, so I'll do my moisturizer and then I'll do my primer with this. Ah, but before this brush, the prep brush, I love this under eye reviver. Do you see? It's like a metal. I, I like to do my eye cream and serum with this and just kind of go inwards. Uh, and then I sometimes do it all over my face and it stays cold, which is really nice. So it helps with puffiness. I do it all over my face too, to be honest with you, because it does increase like blood circulation. So I use it for more than one thing. It says eye reviver. Let me look on here. It has a steel ball for cooling under eye massage. You can use this all over your face and it works really well. It plumps the skin really good. The next thing that I got from Real Techniques is this flawless base set and it does come with the holder. And as you can see, my brushes are dirty. And then I wanted to tell you, I put other stuff in here. Where did it go? Well, it's in my makeup bag, I think. Okay, so I have my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and the Superhero Liner. I just kind of throw them in here with these brushes. But anyways, I before I like continue, I just want to say I love Real Techniques brushes and I purchased them way before they like exploded like when they first came out so i do like this set i actually owned it before they sent it to me so thank you i will have extras so i want to show you each brush this is a square foundation brush so what this is really good for is putting a sheer coverage of foundation on the skin and then you have the buffing brush i have always loved this brush I've always loved it. It makes the skin look pretty flawless. The only complaint I have is I wish it was a little more dense um, because it is it is quite fluffy. It still gets the job done. I just wish it was a little bit more dense, but I do like this brush. Then my favorite brush, this is the contour brush, but this has many uses. I love, I applied my highlighter with this today, you guys. So you can use it to contour, you can use it to highlight, and you can also use it to set under the eyes, another multifunctional brush, which is really good. And then this is the detailer brush. I like this for like cutting creases or applying highlight in the inner corner or just carving out like different designs and shapes, like depending on what kind of eye look I want to use. So I really love this one as well. The last set that they sent me is this enhanced eye set. And I will show you guys each one. The only brush I'm going to be honest with you that I have not used yet. And I've always been kind of like, weary on using these this is the lash separator and i know you're supposed to take it and like i haven't used it yet i am gonna try it i don't know how it works i'm gonna be completely honest i've only used the other brushes so i will let you know but the next one is the medium shadow brush and this to be honest with you i like for setting under the eyes and just like setting my concealer on my eyes or laying color all over the lid. So this is great for that, but not really a, a blending brush, more of a laying down, you know, concealer kind of thing. Then this is the essential crease brush, which I love. And I use today to put on a necessary from my friend Cation palette. I love this. This little brush is bomb, bomb.com. Then you have the shaping brush, which it's okay. It's not my favorite brush. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I wish it was like a little thinner and a little more pinched, but it's also good for like packing on the lid as well. And then the last brush is the Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush. When I first used this, I had a little trouble um, because it's not as fine as I thought it would be but it still gets the job done. Um, I learned that if you use the point more, that's gonna get you more of a fine line and then turn it sideways and that's gonna give you that perfect wing and that perfect thickness on the outer edge. But it's a good brush, you guys. All of these brush sets that they sent me, totally worth it if you're looking for affordable brushes, real techniques. Now this skin set, which is the, sorry guys, Prep and Prime set, I really love. 
and I really love these two in the middle the most. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you that is in my makeup bag, I'm gonna show you my foundations first, of course, which is Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's my ride or die. I think right now I'm in the shade three in one ivory beige, but when I'm really, really light in the winter, I'm usually 2C1 pure beige. This was last year though. This year I'm not this shade. Um, so what I've been doing is mixing it with 3W1 Tawny to get my perfect shade. And let me tell you, I don't have to wear a primer with this foundation when I am having great skin days. If I've exfoliated really great, there's no texture, my pores look smaller, this stuff is amazing. No joke, y'all. Then I wanna show you my Peach Perfect Powder by Too Faced. Oh wait, I have another one. Hold up, you guys know I always do this. Now in my newer videos, this one too. Okay, so I bought this, okay because it's just that good. I love this Peach Perfect. It makes my pores look flawless. My face looks soft, love this. And then I also love the Dermablend Illuminating Banana Powder. This looks so great underneath my eyes because right now I have been dealing with the worst creasing of life. And I love this because you can just take, say, this Real Techniques brush. I'm just gonna kind of like dab it off. Get a little bit of this banana powder like that and just kind of go under the eyes to just, and I'm patting. See what I mean? To just brighten up a little bit. And I'm just like patting, I'm not baking, but there you go. So I love that. And you can also put this all over your face. If you have really, really dry skin, I recommend this one. If you have really matte skin, then I do recommend the other powders that they have in the line because those are really great. But I'm gonna keep going, because if not, this video is gonna be long. So I'm gonna do this kind of fast. My moisturizer that I've been loving is the Secret Sauce by It Cosmetics. So much, another favorite. I bought this, you guys. I've gone through, this is my fourth jar. My fourth jar. The very first one that I got was sent to me when it first launched, which was like a year ago, I think. I don't know, but this stuff is really amazing. Then I have changed my mind about this concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-sculpting concealer. When I first tried it, I wasn't really sure about it, but my under eyes are super, super, super dry right now, and this has a little moisture. So I've kind of switched from my shape tape to this, or sometimes I'll mix shape tape with this. I think I'll be able to use shape tape in the summer when I'm a little bit more greasy, because then my whole face gets a little bit more greasy, because right now it's combination, it's always combination, but during the winter I have more dryness and just the oiliness here and here. But this has been great, and I'm in the shade Nude. Then, I'm just going through my makeup bag, you guys. Um, Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium. I know I have a different shade in here. Um, Mirame and Fuego Highlighter by the Dose of Colors Desi XKD collection. These are my favorite, but my ultimate favorite is Mirame. See how I hit pan? Love that. Then, this is my favorite primer, and I've seen so many other YouTubers not like it and I don't know how because a lot of my clients were like what did you use on my face I love it so now I have one for me one in my kit and this is the Guerlain this is a smoothing and blurring effect pore refiner now you just want to apply a little bit of this to the areas that you have pores and you want to pat it in and then smooth it and let it sit let it sit for a minute or two let it do its work then apply your makeup I love this if you have deeper pores then I would definitely recommend the Revlon Youth Effects Fill and Blur Primer from Revlon. Oh my God, I love this stuff. Especially during the summer. By the way, all these other products that I showed you out of my bag, I purchased. Nobody sent them to me, so these I purchased. This Revlon one is so good. So good, you guys. Then I have this to shape my eyebrows and kind of shave my face and like right above my lip. Um, the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation in Medium. Of course, my Anastasia granite pencil, and I got a new one, the spoolie. Have you guys noticed these break so easily? Holy crap. I don't know, but I got a new one. Then for drugstore mascara, I actually need a new favorite drugstore mascara because high end, by the way, these two would be in my makeup bag, is Superhero Mascara and Liner. But um, for drugstore, I love the Voluminous Butterfly and Waterproof. This is so crazy. The brush is shaped so differently, but I need a new one because this one just isn't doing it for me like it used to. 
another eyebrow brush. These are my favorite. These are by Tweezerman, and they have these according to the shape of your eyes. So if you have round eyes, almond eyes, these are amazing, better than the Tarte ones, better than Shiseido, and not as expensive, no joke. Then the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I am in the shade five. Bye Bye Under Eye and Medium. Ugh, my favorite Inglot Gel Liner number 77. I never stop using this. I love this so, so much. So when I have time to do my brow, or my bleh, my eyeliner with the gel, I'll do that with the brush. And I use the, I don't think I did, I just showed you guys a real technique brush. Yeah, I did. I'll use like this brush with it. Next, the Monsieur Big. I got this for my birthday. I don't like this mascara. Or I didn't when I bought it. So I'm gonna try this again and see what I think. Um, Naked Skin Concealer in Neutral, Medium Neutral and Medium Light Neutral. I've been loving these again. These are really, really great. Another sharp taped, but you guys, I can't talk. Another Tarte Shape Tape. I almost said sharp tape shape. Oh my gosh, and this one is in light medium honey. I like this for cutting the crease because it's a little bit lighter. Jeffree Star mannequin, y'all know, that's like my favorite. Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Charlotte Tilbury legendary brows in clear. Uh, this is just a sample of Bye Bye Under Eye. NYX liquid suede, and this is in the shade Stone Fox. I really like that. Roller Lash, I love, love, love. Uh, this is number seven, High Shine Lip Gloss. I love these, and they taste like vanilla. Really good. I should actually put some on, because like my lips look really dull. I'm wearing mannequin, but I can honestly show you guys what this looks like. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. That, I love these. Why do I only have one? Oh no, I do have two. These are the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. These are like life. I love these. This is the Make Up Forever Aqua Lip in 3C, a Clinique lipstick in Love Pop, uh, my La Creme Concentre. This is Ombre Lise. Oh my god, you guys. Another, you guys can tell I love It Cosmetics. Like, I don't, when I show you guys props from It Cosmetics, they're not paying me. I just really love their stuff. So this, the Bye Bye Redness. Holy moly, this stuff is a savior. You could actually do your full face with just a little bit of this and it'll cover everything. My favorite blush, Breath of Plum by MAC. I don't know if they still make this, but I've had it for life. Um, exposed blush by Tarte. This is just a little deluxe size sample because it's hard to get through just these. I like these better than the full size. Um, oh my God, oh my God. My Too Faced sketch marker. I'm trying not to make this long, but it's gonna be long. Number seven, Lash Impact. This is the only number seven mascara that I like. Uh, this is my Lorac Visionary Lipstick. Oh, it smells so good, it smells like vanilla. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but mine's still good, so I still use it. Look, oh my gosh, look at that. It's, oh, it's such a pretty color. Then this is the It Cosmetics Love Lipstick. I have not used this. I think I used it like, once or twice and then the tip got squashed in the cap but these are really nice but they're really really sheer um so if you want a more natural look you can use those this is my favorite tarte maracuja c brightener eye cream mm, and i need more my friend sarah gave me a deluxe eye sample and i'm forever grateful i have the kiss strip lash adhesive another bye bye cosmetics um concealer this sucks. This is the intense volume from number seven. Oh, uh, I need to throw this away, actually. Okay, I'm gonna throw that out. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power. When I'm, like, lazy, this, like, comes in handy, but the top just, like, will not stay on it. Do you see? I don't know if I got them, like, I think I had them on the wrong side, but I love that. Then this is MAC Lip Liner in Beat, which you can tell I love because it's, like, super tiny. This is just a brush from Maybelline that I don't use. Um, Kylie Jenner lipstick. I don't even use this. This is in the shade Nova. I think it's too light for me. I just, I don't know about the lipsticks. Like I didn't know about, I don't like the eyeshadow palettes or the formula. Ugh, I don't. I wanna love her formula, but I don't. And the lipsticks, uh, I'm kinda on the fence with them too. This is a Laura Mercier Vanilla Kiss Caviar Stick. These are really, really nice. Um, just a brush from Double Dare. Tweezers. 
from Tweezerman, Anastasia tweezers, a hair tie, another hair tie, a broken Anastasia pencil in granite. This is what I'm talking about. Do you see where the spoolie breaks off? I wonder if there's product. Oh, there's still product in here. There's a lot of product in here. Okay. I should probably use this before I use the new one. Okay, so there's that. This is an old NYC liquid liner in black and it still works. It's a backup. I keep it, I love it. I wish they would make it again. It's not bad because I just got it not that long ago. A Super Shock eyeshadow from ColourPop. Tatcha, so canvas, I love this so much. It's a deluxe eye sample. My camera died, but I'm pretty much done. What's left is like a spoolie and a Q-tip. And that's it. Oh my God, you guys, that was so much stuff, but this is stuff that I actually use on a daily basis. I love everything that's here. Some of the stuff I don't use all the time. Let's get it together. Like, I don't use my Bye Bye Under Eye all the time from It Cosmetics. Just when I have really, really dark circles, this is great. Um, but I do use my Shape Tapes, my Born This Way, everything else I pretty much use except for like this too, but good stuff you guys good stuff especially this is revlon fill and blur primer holy moly if you have pores right here this reminds me of the becca primer that costs a ton of money this is like the same thing but not as drying and it doesn't feel like you can't move your face this is like really good stuff by the way this makeup bag is from It Cosmetics. Isn't it amazing? It says discover it, love it, believe it. I've had this for like two years, I think, so I don't think they have it on their website anymore, but isn't it cute? But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. These are some of my favorites and what I love in my makeup bag. Everybody that follows me on IG, if you don't, please follow me. I am at Letitia Laura. I will put it right here. I am very active on IG and I'm active on Facebook kind of, but more on IG, sometimes on Snapchat. But everybody that follows me on IG sees pretty much most of these products that I use all the time, like when I'm getting ready or whatever. Um, but follow me on IG. I'm trying to be more active on here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope your new year is off to a great start. And if it isn't, don't worry, there's still time. <laughs> there is still time and don't forget, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're awesome, you are worthy, you are worth it. Don't forget that because you are, it's a new year to be kind to others, to inspire, motivate, encourage, just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're gonna start a YouTube channel, just be yourself. You don't even have to upload all the time, but it might be better because I know I'm not consistent, but I'm going to try to be in this new year. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Peace out.